Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video and today I'm going to show you guys how I edit my wedding photos. Well, how I actually edit the photo session because um, I just do color correction on the other photos but like for the photo session I go all out on the editing. So in Lightroom I make a selection for uh, the images that I'll be um, editing. These are just few of the images from the session that I've selected. No, I'm going to surprise the client with these images. No, normally they have to wait six to um, 14 weeks or six to 12 weeks for the images. But um, I did the wedding yesterday. I'm just going to, well, yesterday as in, well, today is not Friday. <laughs> today is basically Thursday. So I'm doing this video for tomorrow, Friday, which you'll be seeing it on Friday. So quickly. I was using the uh, Sony A7C and I was using the Tamron, no not the Tamron, I was using the Rokanon 85mm lens. Let me just show you real quick. Um, where do I go again? I don't even remember where to find data. Um, yeah, right there. And then you'll see I was using the A7C, well 7C as you can see and I was using the 85mm lens i was shooting at f2 um 100 for the iso i was shooting the power and the light was about eight i think yeah and it was pretty close all right so i'm just gonna quickly go to the frequent separation action i'm gonna put this at five um and then okay <clears throat> so before what i did was to um crop the image to four to five ratio so I can um, upload it to Instagram. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to work on the skin first. Um, so I'm just going to go to the mixer brush. The mixer brush settings is 20 for wet, 75 for load, 90 mix, and um, flow is 100. So all I'm going to do is just to paint our brush. So what I'm doing is just even out the skin. And that's basically what I do for the retouching. That's basically what I do for all my images. Just e even out the skin like that. All right, there's not much you need to do, to be honest with you. Most of my clients, you know, they have clean skin, so don't really have to worry much about removing blemishes. And trust me, not all the time. I'm going to create a new layer now. Not all the time. And then I'm going to go to patch tool and I'm going to remove the hair from her face. Not all the time. All the images are going to be super sharp. Yeah, because, you know. Your hand might shake and, you know, you're moving a little bit fast and stuff. So, yes. And it doesn't mean it's a bad image if it's not fully in focus. I don't want this video to be a long one, so I'm going to be removing a little bit fast. And, yes, I'm still removing blemishes from the skin. And then I think I'm done with that. So, remove this flower from under here. You have to be careful how you position your light because you're going to have shadows under the the dress if it's what happened the light was directly above pointing down and it wasn't using a soft box or anything so um yeah that's the reason why you see a shadow there i saw it and i corrected it when i was working i never had to use a light to be honest majority of the time i don't use light you know but i wanted to get some of the sky and stuff like that so yeah uh, if you want to download my action, you can check the link in the description and you can go to my website and download the action. All right, so that's it. All I did in Lightroom was to auto adjust so I can get the colors and everything. That's it. But I'm going to do some color grading now. So I'm going to go over to filter and then go to camera raw. And then I'm going to press auto again. Okay, I like that. And then I'm going to scroll down to, well, I'm already under collaboration. I'm going to go to the primary color blue and just put that in. That's it. I think I want to expose the image a little bit more like that. Perfect. What I could do now, I could save this um, action or save this preset that I've just done so I can use it on the other images. So I'm just going to come here and then I'm going to go down to save. What I could save this as, I'm going to save this as wedding just gonna say wedding and then just save it so what happened is that when I load the other image inside um, camera raw I can just apply the same settings 
so that's done i don't need to do anything else i could work on the eyes a little bit and the teeth so let me just come here eyes and teeth press b on the keyboard for the brush my flow is at one but i'm going to move it to 30 and then i'm just going to paint the eyes and teeth we want it to look realistic as possible all right so that's done so before and after before and after good so that one is finished i'm just going to add my logo to it um let me go to my logo real quick uh where's my logo again right here logos and weddings should i lose the white one i'm gonna bring both of them in um open with photoshop all right so i'm gonna try the white one first wait not there yet front one good no not this one either you know what let me just how did i start with that image should have made a front one oh i didn't show you guys the other images that i've selected i'm just gonna copy this and paste it to the one that i want to edit i don't know where it is okay <coughs> sorry all right so i'm just gonna copy and paste the logo here this one is white should i use a black one instead don't think this one is visible or i could put it right there or even right there nah i'll put it right here no right here good then i have a shortcut so i'm just gonna save it i'm just gonna click on this one for client hold on i need to delete some photos from here i don't want them to mix up with that one need to delete these because these are some images i did recently all right good all right, so that one is that. It is done. I'm gonna go on to the other one now, real quick. All right, for this image, it's already cropped for Instagram, and again, it's the you go to the crop tool and you'd select the four to five ratio or eight by ten right there. So all I'm gonna do again, the same process basically. So I'm just gonna put this at five. The radius is basically how blurry the image or how blurred the image will be so five is good for me because i want it to look as natural as possible and when you're using the mixer brush you don't want to mix the highlighted area with the shaded with the um dark area you want to do them separate let's do a cheek forehead and as I said before, you know, in all my videos, I always want my images to look as natural as possible. So, you know, I'm not going to do too much of the dodge and burning, not dodge and burning, too much of the, um, what do you call it? Um, uh, totally forget what. <laughs> Mixing with the mixer brush. Good. All right. So I'm just going to do that. We're basically using the patch tool to remove the hair from the face. The favorite part of weddings is basically the photo session. Trust me, I, I just love the photo session, you know. All right, so that's done. Um, what I'm going to do now is to, I think I want to blend out the arm a little bit more. Like that good i'm gonna go back to the high frequency layer and then i'm gonna remove blemishes from the model's skin or from the bride's skin perfect so i'm good with that i'm gonna do some color grading again so i'm gonna go to camera raw under filter camera raw I'm going to press auto, love that. And then I'm going to go down to, you know what? I just remember that I saved um, a preset. So I'm going to come right here to the presets. I'm going to go to weddings and I'm done. Let's, let, let's look at the before and after. See, I'm done. Um, good. So I'm going to press OK. And then I'm just going to, you know what I did not do? I did not save this. Let me save this. 
so the edit is saved inside of Lightroom. I'm gonna come over here now, and then I'm gonna add the logo V. And press V and drag the logo over, drop it right there, right there in the corner. Good. And then I'm gonna press that, and then I'm gonna unclick that and press save. Good. Go on to the other image, same process. Oh, this one I'm going to start with removing the blemishes first. All right. And yes, I do this with all the images. Um, not all the time I will do detail editing on the... Um, ceremony photos not all the time it all depends you know but um when it comes to the photo session i go detail especially if they're going to be a photo book involved yeah but trust me you won't see the difference when you're looking on all the photos from ceremony to photo session all right, so I'm going to go to the frequency separation action. I'm going to put five on the radius. And then I'm going to scroll down a little bit more. Go down to the low layer. Press M on the keyboard for the mixer brush because the mixer brush shortcut is M for me because that's what I use for my shortcut. Nice. Perfect. So I am done. So color grading now. So Control Shift Alt E and it's Shift Command Option to create a new layer if you're using a Mac. Then go to Camera Raw under Filter and then I'm gonna apply my um what do you call it preset. I'm gonna get rid of this of the white. Get some of the white. Good okay i'm done i see that there's something on his jacket let me get rid of that good now i'm gonna add the logo to it again wait did i can i just paste it let me see oh yeah i can just paste it because i already copied it right there i'm gonna use the black one because this one is not that visible not all the time i will put logo on the images when i'm giving them to client the only only the only time I don't really put logo on it is when you know what let me copy this as well is when um they're going to print them normally I provide both the printed copy um without the logos and copy a copy with the logo sometimes I have too much work I don't have time to put logos um on the images when I'm giving them to clients so I just don't majority of the time because I have so much work. All right, I'm going to bring this down here, right there in the center. Click on that to save it. Unclick it, and then save it for Lightroom. Going on to this one. Can I use the white for this one? No. I think I'm going to use the black for this one. All right. So I'm going to hide that and then start the editing process. I'm going to start with frequency separation. I'm going to put this at 5 and go down to the low frequency layer zoom up the image and start to edit start to brush like that like that looks good and I am done. Am I done? Wait, yes. So I'm just going to come here, create a new layer again, then go to Camera Raw, then go to Presets, go to that one there, and then I may have to just lower the highlights a little bit, like that. That's good. Done. Then I'm going to paste the logo right there in the center yeah that's almost the center 
and then save the image. Oh, I totally forgot that I <laughs> put it there before. All right, that's fine. Go on to the other image. Um, same process. I'm going to come here to frequency separation. Put it at 5. Down there. All right, someone sent me an email the other day saying that, um, well, today, saw it this morning, that they would like guidance on how to use the actions that I provide. I think I did a video about how, use, how to use the actions before. Not sure. May have to do an updated one. All right, so that's done. So I'm going to come here. Go to camera again. Click auto. Go to the preset. Select. Go back here. Lower the exposure a little bit. And also the highlights. And then press OK. And then add my logo. I think I'm going to add the white one now. So the white one was on which one? This one? Yes. Let me just delete the ones that I've already edited because I don't want them to be in the way. This is the white one. Put it right there. Good. Then I am going to save. Good. Then this one again. Five. So you guys get the GIF, right? You see exactly how I edit my wedding photos. Sometimes people ask me if I edit all the photos, you know, and yes, I do. Photo session, I do detail editing as best as I can. And for the other images, I do light editing. Remove pimples and stuff like that. Not, not all the images I'll be able to remove pimples from, to be honest. So, yeah. But I try not to miss too much of that. Add in my logo again. Put this to the top. Should I use the white one? Yes, I'll use the white one. Then I'm going to hide it for now. Put it to the top. And then I'm going to create a new layer. Go to camera raw, press auto, go down to the um, action or the preset, bring down the highlights a little bit, press OK. Um, yeah, I think I'm OK with that. All right, so I'm going to save it again. Then save it to Lightroom. Then this image. What's happening here on the rooftop? What's that? Let me get rid of that right away. All right. And then I'm going to work on the skin. Put this at five. For this image, I wasn't using any light. This was just natural light for this one. Just natural light. But guys, please don't overthink it. When you're editing your images, even wedding images, don't overthink it. Just keep it minimal as possible because, trust me, you don't want to spend hours editing um, wedding photos because it takes a lot of time. And you don't want to be spending hours, trust me. Look at it before and after for that. Looks good. Could still pump in some more colors in it. Let me just turn up the exposure a little bit and highlights down. Then I'm gonna go to um, color, play with the greens. All right, um, yellow. I want to target the lights. 
I think I like that. Good. Um, come to go back to here. HSL. I'm gonna play with the yellows again. Just like that. I think I'm good with this. I don't think I need to do anything else. Good. Now I'm gonna add my logo. Bring it down here. And then I'm gonna save it. All right. Then I'm going to unclick that, save it for Lightroom. And then I'm on the other image. I'm gonna keep this at 6.4. I'm gonna come down here. If you want to maintain the clouds and all those nice things in the background, it's best to shoot with um, a strobe and maybe shoot high speed sync. Expose the background first, then use your light to fill in the client or model or whoever you're working with. So you can get the nice background. I'm going to create a new layer. Auto. Lovely. I love it. This is nice. Good. And then I'm going to drop my logo on it again. I think I want to use the black one now. Let me see. Go here. Oh, this one. Wait, did I not edit this one already? Why is it still doing here? Let me close that. And this one. Did I not edit this one already? Yeah, I'll close that as well. All right, so paste the black one. Wait, I edited this one already as well. Let me close that. Yeah, this is the one. Bring it down here. And guys, don't worry about putting your logo on the on the, the bride's dress or whatever. Do what you feel like doing. If you don't want to add your logo to it or you want to add your logo to the side or no logo at all, as I've said before, just don't do it. Don't care about what people say if they want to say that it doesn't look professional to add your logo to it or not. It's your photo. Do what you want to do, all right? So I'm going to save that. And then um, save it for Lightroom as well. Come over here. This is the last image. So I'm going to crop. I'm going to edit this image first how I want it and save it to Lightroom and then crop it for Instagram because I want to upload all these images and I want them to be the same um, aspect ratio. All right. This image was... Um, also a natural light, and I was using a 50 millimeter lens for this one. The 50, millim uh, the 50 millimeter lens is an awesome lens, trust me. It's the 1.850 millimeter lens. All right, so I'm gonna create a new layer again, create a copy, go to camera raw, press auto. All right, then I'm gonna go down to the preset. Then, oh, I like this one better. Yeah, I like this preset better. But let me just bring down this a little bit like that. Good. And then I'm going to remove some blemishes. So I'm just going to press J for the patch tool. And then, so basically you can remove your blemishes at any point. You do not have to follow a particular order when you are making, doing your edits, you know. So you can apply the, you can do in the mixing. You can, you know, I mean, you do it anytime you feel like doing it. Trust me, I don't really care about following a particular step. But in the, in the starting, I think it's a good idea. And when you get used to it, you can just do it whenever. Or do whatever step you wish to do at any point. So I am done. So I'm going to save this for um, Lightroom. And then now I'm going to crop it for, wait, let it save first. Saving 99%, good. 
Now I'm going to crop it for Instagram. All right, I think I want to fine tune this image a little bit more first. Let me, the arm, I want to fine tune it a little bit first. Let me go back to frequent separation. And then I'm going to just do this. Right. Let me get back one of these images from before. Oh, no. Okay. I'm fine with this. Let me just save this now. Then I'm going to go to crop it. Like that. I'm going to paste my logo. Move this up to the top. right there good so i'm going to save this to my dropbox i'm not sure what's happening right here i think i need to fix right here a little bit first let me do this go to the low layer That's better. And then I'm going to save this again to my Dropbox. And then the same image, I'm going to create a copy of this. Oh, wait, I need to add back the logo. Then save to Dropbox. So let me pull this image over here. Drop it right there. Then I'm going to go back to this one. Because what I want to do, I want to go back to the original, this original, and save it again. So pull this over, drop it. Oh, that did not work. Oh, my. All right. So I have to just go back to the original <laughs> image and do the same adjustment. What I should have done was to just do the adjustment on this one and then crop it. But hmm, I was trying to work magic, but it didn't work. All right. So that's fine now. Actually, no, that's not fine. Um, yeah, let me start over because the jar line is not looking like how it should. No, that's better. I'm going to save it now. Yeah, so I am done. I am done. So now I'm going to upload the images to Instagram on my wedding page. So let me do that right now while you guys are watching. All right. Let me... Oh, wait. I think I have to go. I'm not going to use this one. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to go to Instagram. Actually, no. I'm not going to go to Instagram. I'm going to go to Facebook and upload it from Facebook. So let me come here. Just open this. I'm going to go to... Uh, where is Facebook? Facebook. And then I'm going to go to the business suite. And I'm going to create a post. And I'm going to drop all the images right here. Good. So that. So now it's going to be uploaded to my Instagram and also to my... Um, Facebook. So they're saying that the size is not correct. So I'm just going to click edit and select the vertical 4x5x4, four 4x5 by five by four, four by five ratio. Good. All right. So this video is already long. So just want to thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for 
I think about 21,000 subscribers. Thank you for that. So yeah, you can go to my Instagram, um, wedding Instagram page and follow me. This is not loading. Why is this not loading? Yeah, this is not loading for some reason. But you can go to my wedding um, Instagram page and follow me there for more wedding photos. All right. Oh, wait, it's loading now. Good. So this is my Instagram page for weddings. This is the last wedding that I've um, uploaded. And it's the same process for editing. So thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for another video. Bye-bye.